Hello, what's going on? It's the number one paddle. And, uh, eh. Eh, I'm just here, you know. Just wanted to talk about, uh, learning from your mistakes. And that's something that pertains to a lot of things, particularly this stuff you're watching right now. This game and stuff. This stuff, it's right there, man. And you know, I just uh, just thought about it, you know, and I was thinking about it like uh, looking at the gameplay and stuff, and just thinking, why didn't I stop going in that one direction, that one area? You know, you know what I'm talking about. It's like there's that one guy you know that's there, and they just keep getting you and getting you and getting you, and you're just like, why and why? More whys, a lot of whys involved, you know, and. I think the reason we do that is because, well, I mean, for the people that do do that, some people are smart enough to say, hey, I'm going to take the left road instead of the right road. I think we do that just because we like to charge the problem head on, and the problem is the camper. But, I don't know, I really don't understand the point of it, but, I mean, that's what I'm talking about, learning from your mistakes. And, you know... My mistake was, kept running towards the guy. It's like, I gotta get him. I know he's up there. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. And I think you can also apply to, like, using one weapon. Like, if you're doing bad, and you switch your weapon, sometimes that can work. Sometimes it can help you, but sometimes it can be very detrimental to your performance. I remember many games where I'm just like, okay, that's enough. I'll switch weapons. And then I'm playing a little bit more. I'm like, okay, that's enough. I'll switch weapons again. By the end of it, I've used so many different weapons that I totally have just lost the whole flow of the game. So it's like no real point in even, you know, trying to play anymore because I'm just mad and just switch a bunch of weapons. So, you know, I just think that if we can, like, take a second to sit back and be like, no, no, I'm, I'm going to just force this. I'm going to just keep using the weapon until I'm good with it. And I think, honestly, that, that helps a lot because I do that, and eventually I start getting really good with the weapon. I'm like, yeah, I got this. Ooh, ooh, look at that guy. He goes down. Ha, ah, he's down too. Ha, ah, ha. Ah. And it's just, it works out, you know. It works out well. Now, this uh, Modern Warfare 2, uh, I was doing pretty okay and then bad and then good and then bad. It went back and forth, so, you know... You can tell it's like I learned from some things, but other things I did. And then there's some things you just can't avoid that don't really count as mistakes. It's just something that, you know, you have no real power over. Ahem. Noob tubing. Noob tubing is a very tragic thing in Modern Warfare 2. And that's something you can't, you can't learn from that mistake because it's not a mistake. It's a problem. It's a problem that you got to try to solve. And the way you can solve it is, you know, having that flak jacket shield thing. But, you know, that kind of takes away your primary or your secondary, I forget which, one of your grenades. And you can't use it. So it just kind of, it takes up a slot that really, you know, you'd like to have that other thing. Because it's like, no matter how useful the replacement is, you always like the original better. I don't know why, but that seems to be the basic way of it. And, you know, that's how it works. Uh, I forget what I was using because I'm not actually looking at the video itself, so whatever gameplay we got up, most likely it's either the Famous, the or the Famas, as some people like to say, the UMP45, or, no, I don't think I'll use that gameplay yet, you'll have to wait for that, ha ha ha. But yeah, like I said, you know, learn from your mistakes, and that is a life lesson right there, it's like, you know, if uh, you kick the door, and the door doesn't open, you know not to kick the door again. You know to actually push the door because the kick didn't work out the way you planned it to. So, you know, that's that's things you can use to apply to any kind of situation, really. Like, especially, oh, especially in problem-solving games like, uh, you know, it's like, well, I stacked these boxes, but that didn't work, so let's not stack these boxes. But at the same time, you do have to remember that you have to sometimes re-look at stuff like I stack this box like this but if I stack it like that oh ho ho I've just solved the problem and there you go that's what you want to see so you know it, it's a thing you gotta think about you know really I just you know I'm blabbering here just just going away at it just seeing what happens <laughs> and that's that's one of my mistakes I never draw up notes for this stuff I always do it 
with one idea in mind and then I just talk. I just, I just, brah, 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 brah. And you know that's how I work. So maybe I can learn from that. Maybe I need to start drawing up notes before I start talking. Unless I got something really juicy. Really, really, really juicy. It tastes delicious. Uh, anyway, you know, it's the number one pineapple. Just talking about learning from your mistakes. Uh, hope you all have a good day. I'll see you later. Peace out.